My name is Jeff Martin. Uh, I'm a designer from Vancouver, British Columbia. We sort of will research uh, materials, elemental materials, natural materials, and through our research we'll uh, sort of do some tests and come up with invented or obscure methods of resolving these materials into new forms. I think maybe we'll pull this one out and try one of the bigger ones yep. next. I'm pretty interested in a lot of different mediums and materials. I really like to work with experts and master technicians, but not necessarily doing that myself. We approach our projects at the studio with an equal focus on um, material re resourcefulness and craft, producing work that is uh, aesthetically interesting as well. I was really interested in, in water-based craft to begin with, so like surfboards and paddles, like canoe paddles and stuff like that. I couldn't really like mentally get to a place where I could figure out how to make a career out of doing that if I were to go down it further. Furniture was like a really easy medium to approach coming from a construction background where you sort of like you think about how things are engineered and you put them together and they've got a utility to them and they belong in a domestic setting and that sort of thing. When we were first making the vessels in cast pewter, um, because of the thermal shock pewter goes through without being annealed properly, you, th you can't really anneal it, um, the thermal shock creates like a, a webbing of the material where it doesn't completely connect, and so it, it's not watertight. And so it was really frustrating for me trying to make these excavated vessels out of pewter, and they don't hold water. That's how I found glass anyways, uh, as being a more perfect material to blow into these same sort of molds. Um, and be watertight. So basically what we've done in preparation for uh, our residency, where we're using very often recycled cork uh, laid into these plywood molds of various designs. The Moon Seeker, we got like a lot of this sort of form. To me, you can totally use these pieces or you can treat them as art objects or whatever, but they do have a utilitarian function to them at the end of the day as well. Our first body of work in glass, a lot of people would identify it as uh, like sort of cosmic work. And so we wanted to have pieces which spoke to that in a different way. And so there's sort of like people, if you like look up at the moon or something like that, it's got like that angle of looking up. I really love color uh, and getting to be able to work with color is, uh, is fascinating for anybody who has not like had experience with it. Um, and so when I first started doing these pieces, I was also making paintings of what I imagined they would look like beforehand. I'm like a terrible painter, so I've sort of like removed that part of the practice. Uh, getting to work with pigment in general is really uh, fascinating for me. It's one of the things I love the most out of glass. And with glass, there's like a lot more fluidity and um, sort of working through problems as they occur um, or trying to problem solve on the fly. And uh, that to me was really captivating. And so that started to then guide our, our mold sculpture process to sort of really integrate the fluidity of the, the technicians working through the hot shop and making the most out of it. And so to one of the best examples from that is the pieces we create, which, you know, the bu bubble goes into the molds and it blows vertically up. And then we have a hinged lid that slams down closed. And before that happens, the blowpipe and the bubble have to go, um, they have to pivot and go in a different direction. And so what the piece really feels like at the end to me is that it's, um, it's sort of like capturing the movement of the studio practice uh, in the piece. That's just like a, almost like a, a photograph of what happened in the studio. Uh, and that's why, why glass is really interesting to me. It's sort of just like capturing these imprints of the people making the thing.